What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Travis Bailey, and I'm recording this video to give you an insider's peek on exactly how you can leverage a, a public or private Facebook group to build your audience and a following. Also on this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can use uh, Microsoft PowerPoint to make welcome banners and other ads for social credibility and social proof. So I'm just gonna get started. Uh, we're in the iQuin Pro group right now. Uh, we need to get to my group, which is called Millionaire Mindset. And on this group, I made this group, I started it, uh, let's, towards the beginning of 2017. And so far we have almost 650 new members. And right now it's looked like seven people tried to post in here recently and 38 people are still trying to join. So in this group, what I've done is I made it private so not just anybody can join because I found that online uh, there's a lot of fake profiles and they're called fishers. These phishing profiles will look for information on you and if they get enough, they can start figuring out your passwords and stuff like that. So be very careful about who you let into your, your circle online because once you become a public figure and you, you start building a following, you start building an audience, people are out there to try and get what you've got. So be, be very careful and protective of this following you're building because this is your audience. Because online, if you wanna make money online, <clears throat> you're in the relationship-based business model. So the more relationships you build and maintain, the bigger your audience and potential team grows. So with this group, I just started it with a theme that I just thought up, and I recommend everyone just make a group and think of a theme. And my theme was Millionaire Mindset. I, it just hit me, and I thought it was the thing, I thought it was the, the right name to pick at the time. So, <clears throat> Once you've made your group, it's very simple to make. You can just go to create a new group. I believe it's up in a tab right here. Let's see. You can click that and go to create group right there. Just create a group right there and you're, you're, you just gotta start branding it. I just found this picture on Google for the cover photo. I made a pinned post with just some basic rules that I'm gonna update. Um, I'm actually gonna update two, that two rules, which is a good idea because People join my group and they start spamming their businesses. That's the last thing I want people to be doing to my audience because I've built my audience for my business opportunities. So with this group here, it's important to share mostly personal development and strategy mindset and marketing tips because that's what it's gonna attract people to you. And that's what's going to attract people to wanna be in your group and stay engaged in your group and follow what you're doing. And inside of those value-based value posts, engagement posts, and other newsworthy posts, you wanna sprinkle, you wanna just sprinkle ads in there. And with those ads you've been able to sprinkle, you're going to be able to engage with your audience. Your audience will be able to become engaged with you, feel more connected to you, and more likely to join your business opportunities, whatever they may be. So in your primary business, it's very important to just start building your following. And if you're in my inner circle, you'll have access to other resources that I've put together for you on how to build your audience. So now I want to show you, once you've built your audience, how to officially welcome a new teammate for social credibility and social proof with a welcome banner. So right here, I've just created a welcome banner for George. George joined my iCoin Pro team. Uh, through his sister, Carla, who's also brand new. So I went ahead and made a banner for her, uh, for George, so she could share it for social proof and social credibility that her team is growing. So to make this, is very simple. I mean, if you have access to my insider circle, you're going to have access to this whole file of all the different ads I've made just over time. Uh, there's not that many, but there's probably a good 20, 30, 35 in there that you could use uh, for whatever business you're in, if you see fit. So this is very simple. Uh, what you wanna do is just, see this is an individual picture here. This is an individual text box. This is an individual text box. This is just a black background right here on a blue background. So I'm gonna undo all that and I'm gonna fix it back up. And with that, which once you have this designed, because you'll be able to have access to this file and all you have to do is click here, change the name, 
and then take a picture from someone's Facebook profile and you'll be able and you'll be able to uh, drop that picture on here and then when you do that you want to click the picture here and go to is it insert picture view it's one of these tabs they will have there we go double click it on format format is the tab once you have this picture selected add a cool little you know edit to it so it looks not just like it dropped a random picture in there i mean which we did right george but you give it a cool little effect i like personally like the fade away effect it makes it look cooler in my opinion and once you have that done once you've changed the name here you've changed the picture there i want you to download an app called jing it's a screenshot app so right now i'm not sure that it's recording but look at that funny picture of me um you'll be able to take a picture using this and you can just capture that you want to unselect the box here because you don't want that in there so you just take a screenshot and then boom just screenshot it you want to edit out the white part so it's just a clear clear uh, picture there clear border and click the capture image and then once you have that i hope that last part recorded i'm not sure if it did because i was in screenshot mode but um you take a screenshot and you get a cool little picture right here you can save it and you have make your make a file for it to say organize make a file for welcome banners or ads and then you can save it and then once it's saved you can come back over here to facebook go to your profile here and then I can go here in photos. When it loads, it usually goes slower when I'm uh, recording. So documents, now you want to go to pictures. And then I have a crypto future. That's my username for iCoin Pro. And then I select George. And then if I had enrolled George, I would have made a post about George and how we've talked and what we've talked about and congratulating him on joining and being excited and maybe sharing a little tip on how he should get started and take his first steps so my computer usually goes slow when i'm recording these videos that picture would normally load there and i could type something and then tag him on it so it also shows up on his profile and it shows his audience his friends list that he's already established that he's joined iCran pro so now it gives him also an opportunity for social credibility that he has joined a team that knows what they're doing because look at that welcome banner that welcome banner looks pretty cool i like it you know so this has been a very simple video on how to create welcome banners and advice on creating a facebook group to start building your audience i'm gonna touch back on that for a moment because i didn't really cover that very well as much as i thought i would have so you can go here and it's very simple you just to add people here just don't spam add people people hate being added to groups I've been out of so many groups that I didn't want to be a part of. Um, it's getting late here. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm still in my office. What am I doing? But I do it for you guys. I'm excited about the team that's growing. Um, very simple how to make a welcome banner and create a Facebook group. I'm excited for the growth our team is seeing. And I hope you pulled something out of this video. If you want to go back, watch how I did something, uh, just go ahead, rewind. And about Jing, the screenshot app I use right here. So you can see me scrolling around with my little mouse. It just sticks to the side of your monitor or wherever you place it. To get Jing, it's spelled J-I-N-G. So you can go to Jing, J-I-N-G. You can just Google it. And you, first thing is Jing download. It's a legit program. It's very cool. You just push free download. And you already got it. Mm, was that the right site? Yeah, that's the right site. It's got the, so right here you got to sign in. And Jing is a super cool, best quality screenshot app I've ever seen. It's very cool. Actually, that's not the one you want to go to, guys. I'm glad I found this. Use the Snagit. It's the Snagit TechSmith link you want to use. Make sure you download the right one. This is the one you should be seeing. So you can go to where did i download a free trial type in jing techsmith the boom now you're at the jing the techsmith jing and then download that with that button right there 
and use window download or Mac download. So you want to go and make sure you're at the techsmith.com downloader for Jing. That's the official producer owner of the screenshot program. So make sure you use techsmith.com. Once again, I want to make that very clear because I showed you the wrong site earlier. That's another example of being careful for fishers because they're out there. Once you have a following, once you have an audience and you're making big moves online, you're going to, you're going to catch people's eyeballs and you got to make sure and stay aware that you're not always going to catch the good guy's eyeballs. So stay alert, stay on top of the phishing websites and please, 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 please. If you question a website that looks real, ask me about it first. I'll be able to tell you if it's legit or not. But this has been a short video for you guys. You guys rock. I'm excited to have all, each and every one of you on the team. And I will see y'all on my next video. Oh, where's the stop record button? I always miss that. There we go. I'll see y'all later.